Hello, and welcome to the Six Acre Farmstead. Today is March 4th, 2021. Um, it's a little cold today. It's like in mid-40s, and I got to do some maintenance of things. Not with those. Like I said, it's too cold. And uh, yesterday was in the 50s, uh, but I had something else that was, took a little bit more precedence for me. And uh, not really much they can do. Just let the bees do their thing, get out and do the cleansing flights. So I'm going to show you what I got going on. This is uh, something I put my little thing I did to myself a few years ago and I think it's time of the year to correct it so let me uh, flip the camera and show you what I got going on well first before we get started this is a welcome sign a nice sign of spring and as a lot of people are saying the maples are, maples are in bloom so that's a bonus figured we are here and the bees are there so one of their early uh, pollen sources will be active here hopefully relatively soon looks like we're going to get some 50s and maybe a couple 60 degree days intermixed in the next few weeks still going to be a, lot, a little chilly still not in, in feeding any pollen but that's that so let me tell you what i got going on here so these are my blueberry bushes um actually got these a long few years ago you can see this row here is actually doing really well for myself and these here i gotta move and this row here, add a little scrawny. These were all planted around the same time. There's a bunch of different varieties here. Uh, happened to go to a Home Depot during the winter one year, and they had all their blueberry bushes marked down to a dollar. It was like an end of season sale, so I bought every single one of them. There's probably like 30 plants at the time. Some have died off, uh, some have done very well, but there's probably about uh, maybe six to eight different varieties out here. Uh, which is good for the cross-pollination kind of thing. But one of my problems I always have is this row here is my tractor barely fits, but as these things are growing uh, bigger, uh, the tractor doesn't fit as well, my Kubota. So the plans are these things should be still dormant. Um, and hopefully the ground is soft enough. And I just want to move this whole row here, maybe over a couple feet. Got plenty of space here. This area here is... There's some elderberries I've been trying to grow and propagate here. There's another bee bench there. So I may end up taking some of the the last row here, digging up some of those, and probably wherever there's missing places here, where I'll, I'll just transplant them there and maybe some of these other ones and move them over there. It's probably because they're so close as wood line. I mean, this does get a lot of sun. Um, you can see where they, these here, I mean, I mean, they're reaching out in this direction here. Uh, just reach for the sun as I normally do, but probably need to. I'm gonna go ahead and move some of these. Definitely move all these over to give some space, and then uh, just gonna throw some uh, holly tones, some acidic soil acidifier in with them to hopefully it'll help the plants go. This is I'm not sure what I'm gonna get into, but uh, I guess we'll show you the progress as we go along. So as you can see here, I've got two transplanted. And I'm just seeing what I'm getting into and what's involved with having to do this. And just some of the points I want to mention to you guys. So I've got this little small one here. It looks like a little stick. And there's one there. And then there's that big bushy one there. So this shouldn't be too bad. The little small stick that's right here. Uh, just dig a few feet, dig a hole a few feet over and then Basically, um, actually, first thing I'm doing is I'm actually pulling all the grass around this thing here. Yeah, I've been bad at uh, keeping it maintained and weeded. That that's the unfortunate part of being busy. And so I get that moved there, and then I move there. One of the, come to things I'm finding out is the size of the root ball, root cluster of these things, or how far the roots have gone down, or how wide they are, how big they are. So probably when I get to that one. And definitely that one there, uh, I'll explain more in detail of what I'm dealing with and what my plan is for uh, trying to make sure that plant survives uh, this spring. So, go this one to get moved and we'll move from there. So here, so here is uh, one of the plants I dug up and you can see the, the bigger roots that are on this that I chopped with the shovel, try to dig up far enough. Like to, I wish I could keep more of the uh, smaller 
roots because that's where they get a lot of the nutrients and everything else there but that's also why i'm doing it this time of year when the plant is dormant so just want to put this in here and then just backfill it with some uh loose dirt i'm going to take it from the original hole some of the the dirt that's there instead of just using the the grass clump dirt or what i dug out of there which is a little more clay and i'm gonna backfill take the dirt out of here backfill that and then once that's all done just take the plug that i cut from the top and, and the dirt out of the bucket and then backfill the original hole and probably a lot of these things here i'm going to actually prune down because i want to give the plant a chance to survive i'm not worried about production because the big thing is if i did that i would have taken care of this a long time ago but I just want the plants to survive this this first year and uh, do well. So we we'll go ahead and move forward. Still got the big guy to go. So let me go ahead and get this plant taken care of and move forward down the line. Well, it's been about two hours and a lot of dirt moving for me and buckets and this net. And I got it done. You know, it's so. I had to change things up a little bit. As you can see, maybe right, right about there, in the middle, whatever, in the in the middle, because uh, there was a row in between here. You might see where it's dug up, and there was a big bush there. And I got to thinking. I mean, I don't really want to have to dig that one up. I mean, I did what I wanted to do, and I can easily get my mower down this side here and get it down here, and it, it's close to that bush there but I can stop and weed eat around it and do all that and I can get the mower on the other side and then the whole row that was close to the wood line that I had in I went ahead and transplanted it in spots where in the years other plants have died so hopefully they'll all do well and try to get as much as the root ball uh, together when I was digging them up and I guess in the end I, I had a, a bag of holly tone I mean you need a soil acidifier and that's what holly tone is um had back i got a couple bags of it and i just used about a couple handfuls on each plant and just dumped it there as i went and then as we get a, a rain here in the next few days or whenever it'll go into the ground and the plants get watered they're all dormant so i'm not too concerned about being watered right now or have to do any of that so we'll be fine no higher temps but that was at least this task for today getting them transplanted it was on my list and get that done you know, will I make blueberry honey? No, but my bees will pollinate these blueberries and hopefully I'll have a bumper crop like I had last year, which is always a bonus. So these uh, smaller plants in the years, they'll grow bigger and produce more and that'll be a, a windfall for me as long as I still have the bees, which that's the plan for a bit at least. So that's about it for this video here. I know it's not about beekeeping, a little bit about my gardening and some of the things that are going here on the six acre farmstead. Uh, still got some other things to tackle and do and hopefully the weather warm up here in the next few weeks and we'll start getting more into the plans for the spring i know things are moving on down south and southern part of the united states but that's normal that's not this region the zone and uh just trying to take care of the things to do now this is one of my big things on my list get these transplanted so i won't have to do that for many years to come or not ever at all so i'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and until the next time i'll talk to you guys later bye-bye